Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. Today on the Doc on the Run podcast, we're talking about whether or not you can do leg presses with a plantar plate sprain. Now listen, if you've got a plantar plate injury, you are probably going to want to check out this thing I created for you. It's called the Plantar Plate Masterclass. Basically, I go through and talk about what happens if they get worse, whether or not you can run with a plantar plate sprain, what a plantar plate sprain really is, and really what it means when you have each of the three different sort of stages of a plantar plate sprain. So I'll talk more about it at the end of this episode, but you should definitely go check it out. It's free and you can sign up and you can get access to it at docontherun.com slash plantar plate masterclass, but I'll explain more about it uh, after this episode. All right, now this episode comes from a question actually from a YouTube comment on one of the planner plate videos in there on the Doc on the Run channel. And the question was, can I do leg presses with a planner plate sprain? This is actually a great question because it's really key that you maintain your running fitness when you get an injury that takes a long time to heal like a planner plate sprain. Now, there are really two keys to healing a planner plate injury and that is to decrease the tension or the amount of stretching in the planner plate ligament and to decrease the amount of pressure and irritation or mechanical irritation from pushing on the plantar plate ligament. Now, when you do leg presses, depending upon how you do them, you can cause a lot of pressure and tension to the plantar plate ligament. And so this is actually a great question. It seems really simple, but it's not that 